WBZ's Eye on Earth is brought to you by Safety Insurance. We'll help you manage life's storms. Well, for years and years, scientists have studied the top and the bottom layers of the ocean. Yeah, but right now, they believe this middle layer may be a key to a healthier planet. WBZ meteorologist Jacob Wyckoff explains in tonight's Eye on Earth. Submitted for your approval, a story of water. The depths and mysteries as vast as space, where more is unknown than understood. A place where light and shadow meet. The layer in which creatures are straight out of your imagination. Next stop, the Ocean Twilight Zone. It's deep down, it's dark, it's cold, it's under really high pressures. It looks pitch black, and for, to human eyes, we would see nothing. The only light from bioluminescent creatures. A flash here, a glow there. This foreign world in the middle of the deep sea, called the Ocean Twilight Zone. Are you recording now? Heidi Sosik is the lead scientist for Woods Hole Oceanographic Institute's Ocean Twilight Zone project. The Ocean Twilight Zone is full of a diversity of amazing life that many forms that m most people have never seen from specialized bacteria through uh, amazing fish that are have adaptations to live in a place where it's hard to get food and it's really dark. We also know now that many top predators, things like whales and sharks that we're used to thinking about living in the upper ocean, they actually spend a lot of time deep down in the twilight zone. In the past, scientists were only concerned with the top and bottom of the ocean. They've only recently started unlocking the significance of this gateway to deeper waters. The more we're learning about it, the more we understand that it plays a big role in these global processes. Water cycles, the nutrient cycles, the carbon cycles. Two out of every three breaths you and I take come from the ocean. And the ocean contains a huge amount of carbon, storing almost 50 times more than the atmosphere. Getting carbon into the abyss keeps it sequestered for thousands of years and out of our atmosphere. This process starts with a bunch of hungry animals feasting on phytoplankton at the surface. Ken Bessler, a senior scientist on this project, says... They come up at nighttime to feed on that plant matter and carry that carbon down with them. Actually, it's the largest migration on this planet. Trillions of these small, tiny animals, the fish that eat them move up and down every day. This is the ocean carbon cycle at work. To get the carbon to the bottom, those animals, well, they've got to go to the bathroom. The result looks like a blizzard. All of that material becomes what we call marine snow, this kind of distributed rainfall of organic debris, carbon really based material that settles slowly to the deep ocean. Up to 3.6 billion metric tons. It's a big number. It's about what comes out of U.S. Uh, vehicles, cars and things in this country. A recent study estimated there could be 10 times the amount of animals and organisms in this layer than previously thought. It really is one of the last frontiers. And amazingly, you know, we, in some ways we know less about our own ocean than we know about the moon or Mars. More animals, more feasting, more marine snow, and more evidence that understanding the ocean twilight zone will give us a clearer picture of our climate future on land. Every time we make a measurement, every time we go out and, and observe the ocean, we learn something new. In Woods Hole, Jacob Wyckoff, WBZ News. Mm -hmm.